Okay, hi guys, here I am again sharing the things that I have learned to my fellow newbie programmers. Okay, today I'm going to show how to display records using the ADO.NET entity framework. If you want some quick overview on how to or how the ADO.NET entity framework works, you can just go onto the Microsoft website here at the MSDN and search for the ADO.NET entity framework. Okay, now let's see for a bit the my database. In here, I have my database, which is called Tutorial Database. And then I have here my phone book. My phone book have uh, three columns, which is ID, the primary key, and the full name, and the phone number. And then I have here my sample records, which is the here and then now that you have seen my database and my table you can now go back again to the program here I already created a sample project which is called displaying record uh, and then before we start since we are going to use the ADU data entity framework or the en entity model click on the new project name and then add or you can just click on your keyboard uh, control shift a here and then go to the data and choose edu.net data model okay since my database name is called tutorial I'm going to use this uh, or choose this as tutorial model and then after that click the add button here you are being asked whether to generate from database or empty model since we already have our database we're going to generate it directly from database so choose generate from database and then click on next okay and then you don't have the connection string yet just go on and click on the new connection click on the server name or the drop down of the server name in here just wait until it loads all the server available for your computer okay mine is still loading oh it's finished loading as you can see I have uh, two instances of SQL server installed one is the SQL Server 2008 R2 and one is the SQL Express. I'm just going to use the Express. Basically, the server name is the computer name dash PC backslash SQL Express. I'm going to use the Windows authentication about to the local server. But if you guys have uh, SQL Server authentication, you can just use on it. Okay, and then select database tutorial database test the connection connection succeeded and then once the connection succeeded click on the ok and then after that click on the next wait until it populates the tutorial database here as you can see in here I only have a table on my database I don't have any views I don't have any start procedure so and then I'm, I'm also just going to use the phone book so I'm just going to click on this and then click on the add just leave this model namespace uh, as default as it is okay and then click on the finish okay once it is finished you, as you can see in here guys this is the tutorial model the phone book entity or basically this is the phone book table and this is the properties of the entity or the column of the phone book table so as you can see in guys so it is and then once you have added our tutorial model let's go into the form one again okay now at the form one Let's design this for a bit. Let's add some 
here add the label one and then this label one go on and change, and change the text properties of it let's say my phone book okay and then add the data grid view where's the data grid view oh here it is we already added the data grid view okay now that we have finished on the designing we have here, uh, here click on the form or double click on it and then we're going to proceed to the form one load here at the form one load we can now do the actual coding but in order to do that for us we need to instantiate our tutorial model so to instantiate the tutorial model since the name of our model is tutorial we can instantiate it using the tutorial entities tutorial entities is equals to new or db equals to new tutorial entities if you want to know the entity name of your model you can just go on into the tutorial model here this one the tutorial model designer click on it if you want to know the entity name here at the context here this one is the entity name of it basically it's just a class okay now let's go back into the form one that cs at the form one load and do the actual coding okay now that we have instantiated the database let's now proceed on displaying the record using the link queue expression link queue expression to display the record so to do that let's use your var query this will be the variable name is equals to from x in db dot phone book as I said a while ago this is the database or we instantiated the database phone book so db in the database we have our phone book table phone books then select x the counterpart of this link expression in SQL is like this SQL expression counterpart counterpart equivalent is one oops just to select asterisk from phone book but how about if I want only the full name and phone number I don't want the ID to be being displayed so in SQL I can do that using SQL select phone number full name um, look something right like that right guys so the counterpart of this one into link queue will be var query to query to will be the just the variable name is equals to from x in db that phone books select new oops x that phone number comma x that full name so this is the counterpart of this in SQL expression okay so 
it's time to display it. If you want to test it, that's the name of our data grid. Since I did not rename our data grid, its default name is data grid view one. So let's click on data grid view one. That data source is equals to. Let's check first the query. Let's see if it's working. Okay, and then let's go ahead and check the program. Oops, forgot what's that kind of error. Oops. Mm, it seems that I have done something. Okay. Let's check again the program. Sorry about that, guys. I think I uh, did it a while ago. So, as you can see here, guys. Here we display the ID, full name, phone number, because we use the select asterisk from our link queue, right? The select asterisk from our link queue. But how about if you want to use the query too? I want only to display the the what I mean the phone number and the full name. So to do that. Let's go ahead and change the data source of our data review. Change the data source and data query tool. And let's go ahead and test the program. Okay, you can, as you can see here guys, I only displayed the full number, the full number, the full name here because I use the query tool which is equivalent to the select phone number full name from phone book and SQL expression and link you expression from X and DB phone book select new X the phone number okay I hope you guys understood the program we're in we are using link you now okay and that's it guys I hope you guys had learned something new like me because this kind of technologies are still new to me also and if you think your that this video is helpful you can just subscribe to my channel and then thanks again for watching guys and goodbye